Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And so we stand for the anthems. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. We're underway. Gets it back. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Barida. And it's Krechi. Oh, that's neat. Krechi crosses, gets up to hit it! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Oh, that is lovely footwork. And the shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Has a quick glance. So who's he picking out? Massively! Goal! The Czech Republic! And it's the Czech Republic who take the lead! It is a good finish. The odds were against him, little matter. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, though.
The Czech Republic go ahead, one goal to the good. That is terrific skill. Plenty waiting in the mid. Has a goal! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Run down the left. What can they make of it? Barida. Krecci. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. It's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Towering header! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. Great leap! In it goes! A two goal cushion, and it's looking safe! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. The Czech Republic take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Time to deliver. Krecci crosses. Up to meet it! And it's there! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of 
sides. An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area department, this fella is definitely no sledge. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. The Czech Republic take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Approaching half-time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? Here it is! Shot at goal! Good distance on it. just tells him to get back up again. But even. The Czech Republic have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Done. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. of the second half Albania now need to set about their task very professionally if they do then the chances will come and from there the focus will zoom in on their finishing going through up for a header and oh it's in that's no fluke it's what he was there for well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. So, is this the start of a comeback? Kretschy. Well, it's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Forward it goes. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. A 
Oh, nice touch. Out to the left it goes. He's left his man. Battles to win it back. Garida. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Has a pop! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? And it's Krejci. Played the ball, that's a foul. And he is going into that little black book. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. The Czech Republic are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Schick pushes to get on the end of it. Krejci will set up two goals. Barida. Well, that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Usai tries the volley! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. No hesitation, he's straight into his pocket. It's a second yellow card and he walks. Well, the protest continues, but in the end they are defending the indefensible. The Czech Republic are down to ten men. Chance to play it in. Played into the middle. He's had a go! Cleared away. Hits one! He scores! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. This is threatening to become a really good game. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. 
Schick. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Tries to get it forward quickly, and the counter is on. Lovely bit of skill. He's got options in the box if he gets his head. Goes for goal! Albania are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Gets it upfield. Just five minutes left. Barida. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Kreci. The Czech Republic probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Sits wrestled off the ball. The final seconds now. Gets his foot in there. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. I think we've got just about enough time for this free kick. Looking to dink it in. Good ball, it's found its target. And that is that. Fabulous entertainment, drama in spades, and no one would have argued with a draw, but they have lost it. And what do you take away from it all, Jim? Albania never really got into this game, I and mean, conceding early as they did seemed to completely undermine what, whatever had been put in place before they left that dressing room, and they just didn't readjust to it at all. My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.